Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Blind out of this world, but as I see me, um, the trick that cannot be explained, which I am going to do. Right, pack it at 20, uh, 26 cards, yeah, double that, 52, 52 cards. And he set them out in, as I like to call it, police car order. Red bag, red bag, red bag, red bag. Police car hood. Anyway, shoot your face. And because you're doing a setup, you, if you want to do it a few, a few times, always use the same cards, top and bottom. Right? See if you happen to remember them. You'd always use them. Yeah. Subconsciously, you'll remember. Ten of diamonds, nine of clubs. You're set to go. You take your packet out of your pocket or whatever, put it on the table facing up, and invite your spectator to cut the packet as close to half as they can. So they cut the packet. You go, ooh, that looks pretty nice. Shall we see how many you got? And you pick up the packet they've just cut, because that's one of your key cards. You know the key card is there. You want that key card there. So you reverse the order, putting that key card down as you count them. Counting them means nothing, it doesn't, unless you, mind you, you're going to count them anyway, so you'll know what number there is. But the main purpose is to get that one to be the top card and to reverse the order of the flow. So instead of being red, black, red, black, it's now black, red, black, red, black, red. Yeah, police card in reverse. So you just deal them down and count them as you go. But because they come out red, black, red, black, red, black, you want to try and disguise them a bit. So be a bit nifty with your, sh your dealing. So get your hand up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, and twenty seven. So they don't get re really get to see what cards are going down, so they can't make a pattern out of it. Very nearly got yourself a pint there, mate. 27, very close. You're only one card away. That would be very good for a novice. You then ask them to turn the two packets over and riffle shuffle them together. Like so. Now, you know the top card of that pile was your nine of clubs. You know the top card of that pile was your ten of diamonds. You just look to see which card end up on top the nine of clubs that's a nice one the ten of diamonds are right underneath it doesn't always happen but it's nice when it does in case you forget you get confused shall we say so push them together and then you will invite them to deal two piles alternating as they go and in the performance i've done it up to ten you could do it with the entire pack because of reversing the cards and shuffling them together and then dealing them out because they were all <clears throat> it's a bit awkward to explain because they were red black red black and then they went black red black red when they went in together if a black one went across there it was on top of a red one so obviously it's changed it it's gone on the top of it so when it gets dealt out into two piles, the red one's going that way, the black one's going that way, if you see what I mean. Hopefully you do. And that's basic, that's the basic principle to this. Basic principle. So they deal down two piles of ten. And all you're doing is remembering which was the first pile to be dealt down. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I say you could do it with the entire pack, but we don't want to waste too much time. <clears throat> you ask them then to choose a packet. And you're doing the magician's force, giving them that one, because that's got the nine of clubs on the bottom. Okay, that one's got the ten of diamonds on the bottom. If you see them shuffle it and you know it's like that, it doesn't matter. You don't have to force a packet. You know what the bottom card of both piles are. Your two force cards. If the, that's, if the shuffle doesn't look like them two have gone together, you know, a couple more cards have gone down with the nine of clubs, where you know that's further down the packet. It won't work, that'll be inside the packet somewhere. So that's just a nice little tip for you. 
50 grand, both like that. Yeah, you get away with it. What am I doing? Yeah, so then you force that one onto them. You'll then take this one and say, well, you've chosen them cards, but you could have had some of these cards. And you just remember what that one is. Seven of hearts. And you'll drop that packet on the top. And you'll say, you could have also selected any of them. Now, you want to make sure you can see clearly from your seven of hearts to the top of the packet. Right? Because whatever colour these cards are, the ones in that one, because of that shuffle, is the opposite colour. You've got it right. So, first one is the seven of hearts. You know that's going to be a black card. The next one is the seven of clubs. You know that's a red card. You got the three of spades. It's a red card. You got the five of hearts. It's a black card. You got the queen of spades. My little lady. A red card. The four of diamonds. A black card. The two of spades. A red card. Six of diamonds. A black card. Ace of diamonds. A black card. There's your key card. You know that's the other key card. Mm. And if it's somewhere in the middle, you'd spot it as you were putting, as you were looking through, wouldn't you? So bear that one in mind as well. <coughs> and the last card. Not only is it going to be a black one, it's going to be the nine of clubs. And you can predict what card that is. But as I say, you could do it with the entire packet. Get them to deal two piles of 26. <coughs> and it will work. It will. Even if they haven't cut 26. Because don't forget, the other cards are already interlaced. They are. It's just these other ones swapping places with them. But it stays the same way. They don't get mixed because they're already in the right mix. If you see what I mean. Check it out and try it yourself. <sighs> yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. hope you have fun with it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Right, for those who are interested and those who are just bored and just want to watch for the sake of watching, uh, I'll show you that it does work using the full packet, you, no matter how many they cut off. So your pack's all set up, your two key cards, they cut a small packet off, and it, it is only a small packet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Yeah, pretty atrocious cutting, mate. You should be buying me a pint. They ripple them together again. Remember which one's going on the top and ten of diamonds. They push them together. Now the bottom bit, they deal two pounds of 26. I'll speed this up. Now, because of the way they cut it, there shouldn't be much chance of you ending up with your two key cards. Very rare they will actually get the small pack to be second top card. Yeah, not much chance. Again, you'll force the packet onto them, they'll take that one. And you'll just go, well, you could have had any one of these ones. And you spread it out. Now, this might be a little bit more obvious to them if they look down and see what cards are coming out compared to what cards you've got laid out in front of you. So that might be a bit too conspicuous doing it with 26. Otherwise, if you've got hold of the cards, find out in front of you and you're going um, banning through them, Backwards and forwards going, well, I think that card's going to be a red one. And going by the way these are, that one's going to be, um, you can show them that they're in no particular order at the end. right? So, going by that, I know five of diamonds is a red one. I know that's going to be a black one. To save time, because these are going to run in the same order all the way through, I'll just turn them over and you'll see. I'll do it a bit better than that. There you can see a red one and a black one, 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 a black one and a red one. I will shut up and just let you concentrate. 
you can see that we've already gone past the 10 and they're matching all the way or rather they're not matching contrasting colors either side and that was with a really bad cut as you've seen Uh, we're right away through the packet now obviously you'd name what the last card is but there you go just for any of those sad people who wanted to stay behind for a bit of detention that's what it looks like using the entire packet right thanks for watching this video. i'll see you again soon